The NVIDIA GTX Titan X and the AMD R9 295X2 are two of the biggest, baddest graphic cards on the planet. And today, we put them head to head. What up, tech fans? Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and today we have a battle royale. AMD versus NVIDIA. Real quick, a shout out to Audioblocks for that awesome intro music and sound effects. If you guys want to check this out, you guys can get a free seven day trial by checking out the link down below. The GTX Titan X is the newer of these two cards. It hits the market at around $1,000 and packs the 1000 megahertz core clock. It has 12 gigabytes of memory, a 384 bit memory interface and 336.5 gigabytes per second of total memory bandwidth. The R9 295X2 is also around the $1,000 price point, but this card's older and you can pick this thing up for about six to $700, just like the XFX model we're taking a look at today. Unlike the Titan X, which is a single GPU card, this is a twin GPU monster, which packs a 1018 megahertz core clock, eight gigabytes of memory on a 512 bit memory interface and 5,632 stream processors. Now let's check out those gaming benchmarks and the benchmark song. Tomb Raider at 4K ultimate settings. We see the R9 295X2 at 56.2 average frames per second. The Titan X was lower at 46.1 average frames per second. Metro Last Light, once again, 4K on medium settings. The R9 295X2 shows a 77.5 average frames per second. The Titan X comes ahead in this one at 79 average frames per second. Battlefield 4. 4K Ultra Settings. The R9 295X2 hits the table at 56.8 average frames per second and the Titan X at 44.9 average frames per second, letting the R9 be the winner in this one clearly. Next up, Far Cry 4 in 4K High Settings. The R9 295X2 gets 38.5 average frames per second, the Titan X 40.4 average frames per second with the lead going to the Titan X. Next up, Crisis 3 in 4K medium settings. The R9 295X2 scores 88 average frames per second. The Titan X 67.1 average frames per second, showing the R9 295X2 as the clear leader. Next up, Fire Strike Ultra, the 4K benchmark. The R9 295X2 shows 4,281. The Titan X 3,938. Once again, showing the R9 295X2 as the leader. So you guys can see, for the most part in gaming, the R9 295X2 is kicking butt. Now, there are some things to take into consideration. This is a dual GPU card, but that 12 gigabytes of memory and all that CUDA stuff is going to come in a lot of play when you're doing workstation type of stuff. So if you guys want to see some workstation style benchmarks, let us know by going Jackie Chan style on that like button or Chuck Norris, your choice. Once again, a huge thanks to Audioblocks for stepping up our audio production game. We're fortunate enough to write a lot of our own music, but we get tons of questions on where we get royalty free music. And Audioblocks offers unlimited downloads, is 100% royalty free, and offers tons of music and sound effects, and is yours to keep forever. And what's most awesome is you guys can check it out for free for seven days by checking out the link below. Aside from that, I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you like what you see, subscribe, and I'll see you in your inbox. See ya.